All right, y'all, it's JoJo on the radio. Ladies and gentlemen, she needs no intro, but damn, she's getting one. My girl, Lady Gaga, y'all! You're so good at that. <laughs> I practice, Gaga. Thanks, JoJo. All right, first things first. You guys will see this online, of course, but for people listening who aren't in front of a computer right now, um, what is Gaga wearing? Why don't you describe what you have on here, Gaga? Um, this is a really young uh, designer from Norway. Uh, she's like 19 years old, and she made this for me. Uh, it's like that's a it. leopard yeah. skin. I think it's I just can... a long leopard outfit with um, a leopard veil. I think I can see your underwear. I'm just saying. You can. <laughs> All right. <He's> out. <laughs> let's not beat around the bush. Let's, let's get down with that. Hey, you say your fans at this point are somewhat blind to your outfits as crazy as you get they they see all past that now and they just see you is that uh still how you feel about that and kind of describe what you meant by that sure i mean i know that they really enjoy um my performance art visions and the things that i create um but i think we've come to a place now where musically and personally we're much closer and um they're sort of blind to what's on the outside um it's a very different relationship that we have now but the meat suit was pretty epic. I have to go back to that. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, it's so funny because that actually was meant to be a performance art piece. Um, I did a, a, a speech called The Prime Rib of America um, for um, equality uh, against uh, Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Um, I said that uh, equality is the prime rib of the American Constitution. So I brought um, discharged uh, gay soldiers with me to the MTV Awards, and I wore prime rib as a statement about equality. Um, but, you know, some people just thought it was funny that I was wearing meat. So <laughs> whichever made you laugh is, is fine by me. <laughs> I do have a thousand questions to ask about Don't Ask, Don't Tell and all that stuff and your stance on that, just to get, get into more in-depth on that. But just a quick sec about the meat suit. I just I've, Since I haven't really spoken to you since then, was it squishy to sit on? Do you, I mean, when you told your stylist I have an idea of a meat suit, did they look at you like you were nuts? You no, know, he was so work? excited. We actually had done it already in, um, uh, for Japanese Vogue because I didn't like any of the clothes that they had brought. So I just said, could you run down to the meat market? We were in <laughs> the kidding. meat market in New York. I just said, go grab some flank steaks. Um, and we, it was, I felt so bad. Brandon, who works with me, is in the house of Gaga. He's vegetarian and he's like crying and he's so, <laughs> he's so in this meeting. I felt so terrible. I'm like, it's okay. It's, 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 it's this expression about the sexualization of women. It's okay. Um, and he's like, I know, I know. It's just, uh, it's just I'm a vegetarian. Couldn't you um, ask for a broccoli suit? No, right, exactly. Gotta be me. Um, but um, actually, it, it stunk quite awfully, but I didn't mind that because I don't really like talking to celebrities. So it's nice to because it would keep them away. <laughs> Gotta love that. When you, I'm, uh, well, I could ask a thousand. One more question about it. When you, hug, when you hug people, like you hugged a celebrity, did any kind of weird meat thing go uh, down? Again, there was no hugging oh, because that's right. it was a, a, a sort of a caveat with, that came with the outfit. I would have hugged you. Just saying. Um, what's your next crazy outfit? I know some shows you plan, you know, two, three months ahead, you know, for epic moments. You plan for some crazy some crazy fashion statement. The egg or the vessel, as you say. What's next? I have some pretty exciting things planned for the MTV Awards. Any, um, any tip? Any clue? Absolutely not. Ah! <laughs> right, well, then it wouldn't be... Uh, the monsters would be so mad at you if I told you. They'd be like, you spoiled the surprise for all of us. I remember when I was like 14, I used to guard the TV with my life as the MTV Awards were starting and I'd be screaming at my parents, don't change it, don't change it! <laughs> so... Well, I guess we'll wait and see what kind of crazy stuff Gaga comes up with. You guys, let's pause back in a sec. Lady Gaga hanging out. Give her some love. <laughs> 